I am honored to have a legendary comedian <laughs> hanging out with me, Mr. George Wallace. Um, I introduced myself to you, and I said that I already knew you. Yes. And you said that you don't. You can't know me because you call me Mr. George Wallace, and you know my name is Dr. George Wallace. Oh, my bad. Don't you feel better since you're talking to I me? I do feel much better. Do you really have an honorary doctorate? Yes, honorary. <laughs> Do I have an honorary? Okay, so wait, you actually a doctor? Yes. This is news to me. Doctor of what? Comedy, D.C. and George Wallace. D. Don't, I'm serious. I see all my patients at one time, mm -hmm. and they feel much better than they do when they walk out of a regular doctor's office. I'm a doctor of comedy. You know what? You're absolutely right, because laughter does heal the soul. Laughter is healing for the soul. Yes. You go to church. You read the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, unless somebody told you. Somebody told me this, and I feel it. You know, I love so, so where shows. did you meet me? So it must was, have been at the dentist because both of us got sixty thousand dollars worth of <laughs> work in our mouth. No, I, this, this is natural. I'm all natural. Girl, take them out. Let me see. All of, take them out. Let me see. Natural. I know those couldn't be your real teeth. That's beautiful. Those teeth are. Thank you. Yes. I'm all natural. Now, when somebody tells you you have beautiful teeth, doesn't that make you feel good? It does. Yeah, it does. does I get these. You. you know, I don't know my dad, but he gave me some good genes. You so. don't know your dad? No, I don't. Well, guess what? Today is your day. <laughs> <laughs> you, my, you my dad. I'm your real daddy. <laughs> That's why we came in here. The program director told me, go see her and tell her uh, who her real daddy is. Oh, my is. God. My, my and question right is here in Miami, I've traveled all over the country to find you. I'm here in the beautiful, I'm live in Miami. Yes, you are. But I met you in Vegas with one of my mentors called Brian Dawson. Brian Dawson went to the University of Akron like me. See, there you go. Oh, my God. I are you serious? You, mutual friend. Yes, I used to work at, um, in Raleigh, and he's still over there. And we met in Vegas, and he took me to your show. I hope you had a good time in Las Vegas, we the new had... Mr. Vegas. And I'm, can you believe it? I'm here in Miami. I got some time off. Yeah. So I'm at the improv here mm -hmm. over the weekend because I'm doing some new jokes that I know don't work. So that's why I'm only charging half price. <laughs> and when you came to Las Vegas, it probably cost you $150 to see me. But well, here, no, it was, he, it was, it was, I got him in for free, didn't I? Yes, I got yes. him in for free. We, we had the hookup. That's why I was like, wow, this is an amazing opportunity to see the comedy legend. But you're going to be here in Miami performing Friday, Saturday, Saturday and, and Sunday, Sunday for the people that can't go. You know, the church people will come out, you know. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they can go, they can get saved on Sunday morning, then they can come raise hell, just like they do all the time. All the go time. Go to church in the morning, get saved, start raising hell Sunday evening. But we're having an early show at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So you can come out and have some fun. And not only me, it's Myra J. All of us from the Tom Jonah Morning Show. Mm -hmm. If you remember that. And uh, and uh, the young people know me. He's a radio as, legend, of course. Well, the young people know me as Mr. Wash in the movie The Wash because they play it all the time and pops and stuff like that. And the what young was that? Kid, I mean, you worked with a legendary rapper, Snoop Dogg, in The Wash. What was that yeah, like? Yeah, that was really cool. You know, Snoop was high every day. And it was just like, <laughs> I mean, the fire department just drove by. Were you getting high with Snoop? I'm uh, sorry? Well, you heard me. I did not indulge because I don't smoke. I never smoked anything. I never I never did any drug. I never did anything. But I encourage young people to make sure you enjoy your life. Get all that stuff because life is backwards. That's what I teach all the young people because you hear old people say, when I turn 65, I'm going to retire and travel all over the world. For what? Mm -hmm. you too damn old. You can't do nothing. Do it now. So travel while you're young. When you get out of high school or college, get on an airplane, go to another country, charge it to your parents. Just go see how other people live. If, if they got it like that. Uh, well, listen, it doesn't matter. Just make sure, like these young college kids, make sure y'all go and travel and see other people. And there's good people all over the world. Yes. I started it uh, I, right out of college. I started. I've been everywhere, from uh, Shanghai to Singapore. I used to spend my time in Spain, Ibiza, Spain, Ibiza, Ibiza. Sound. Oh, so so I was over there. I was a freak back when I was 30 years ago. I was a freak. Yeah. <laughs> so you know about the Ibiza sound? You been to Ibiza? Well, my brother lives in Amsterdam. Uh -oh. And so he told me all about Ibiza because it's not, not true. But I used to hang out in Amsterdam all the time. Oh, so you was and a I freak, said, where freak. Do the freaks? Where did the freaks go? And the freaks in Amsterdam told me, said, they go to Ibiza. Mm -hmm. And that's when I learned about Ibiza. So you were telling the truth. And I tell you, what, I just like having fun. Most of all, I like to see people having fun. Mm -hmm. I, I love to see people having fun. I used to get in all kinds of trouble in Ibiza. You know, the nightclubs would be 5,000 people and uh, 500 in the, in the swimming pool naked in the nightclub. Were you in the swimming pool naked? No, I can't swim. I just like to watch people. Okay. I, like to, I like to watch freaky people. Okay. I don't do nothing. I don't take. I do not do drugs. I just like to watch. What do you call it? A voyeur? A voyeur. A voyeur. That's, that's what I am. And yes, I, just, a I just love to have people having fun. And that's what we're going to do at the Empire. Myra J., you know how crazy she is. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so we're going to do that. And uh, Jandon Brown is usually with us. And I wish he was with us because I have to talk to him about, you know, the balloons all over America that, that we're that talking about. That have been right? getting shot down. Those are his mama's drawers. Oh, Lord. So they are. And, you know, people Better just do his mama like that. Because 
those is, and I've naturally says made in China, and the government think China got nothing to do about this. This just his mama draws made in China. She had gas. Oh, you Lord. know, when you have gas and them big draws, what do they do? They go up. Oh, God. Okay. Well, so we're going to be talking about said. that. And another thing, I'm in Florida, and you got the best fried chicken in the world in the state so of Florida. where do you go for your fried chicken? To the grocery store. Publix. Come on now. Thank you. Come on. Publix has put many uh, KFCs out of business. Publix is the truth. Uh, it's, and it's. I don't know what it is okay, about that Okay, we need to check for that. We need to check for we public need that. chicken. We, we, that's why I said that some grocery store. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to promote them okay, because okay. It's, it's, it is that good. People buy it's sandwiches. It's not a secret, though. There's so much good stuff in Miami. That's why I'm here, you know. But there's some stupid stuff here. My, last time I came to this station, I went to McDonald's after I got off here, and we I had a sausage, egg, McMuffin meal. And the cashier said, what would you like to drink? I said orange juice. You know what she said to me? What'd she say? I'm sorry, sir. We're out of orange juice. And I looked at her like, are you in Florida? They be a, a lot of things here. How the hell are you going to be out of orange juice? And I'm looking to the back when I'm looking at 10 walker flocking trees. That's my cuss word, walker flocker. <laughs> okay. Because I'm from I'm Atlanta, walker flocker. You know? <laughs> I'm into it. So, so I just uh, that's, I don't cuss, but walker flocker is mm-hmm. my word. Wait a second. I beg to differ, differ sir. I like saw cussing? an interview where you was cursing out Will Smith <laughs> because he smacked Chris Rock and you said F the Smiths and you said every, you said F everybody named Smith every, all the Smiths I hate so, all the Smiths the you, didn't the use Smith. the, you used the F word very I loosely. started cussing I'm not gonna lie to you the, 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 the Oscars were about March 4th mm-hmm. uh, almost a year I did that's when I start cussing because I'm a Christian. Mm-hmm. And then I've been a Christian so long that mm-hmm. I think everybody I go to church with, they cuss, the preachers mm-hmm. cuss, the bishop, they all, they all cuss. But why were you so passionate about disliking Will Smith in that moment? At when that moment smacked? because um, um, uh, Chris Rock is, uh, is, is like my son. We okay. grew up together. Well, I'm about 10 years ahead of him. Mm-hmm. And when he started coming, he always wanted, if you read the books, he's, he'll tell you one thing. He wants to be like George Wallace. And we're still friends to Dan. He's like my son. I know his mom. I was in Orlando, Florida last night, and his brother, Tony Rock, was on stage. I love Tony. What up, Tony? You know Tony? I want to say I just slapped the hell out of him for no reason whatsoever. (laughs) Why should Chris be the only one getting slapped? But in any case, when he said so what don't happened, do that, what happened was he started when he slapped Chris Rock, he slapped me. So yeah, I'm still angry about it. And you brought it up. I thought I had to let it go, but yeah, I did. I said F all the Smith. You did. I said F his wife, uh, Jane, G.I. Joe to Jane, whatever. Said F her, F them two little weird ass kids, yep. Willow and Willet. F you went in on them. I want on everybody. F his grandmama. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, they have, they what have Granny Smith and that? Yeah, they did. But he just—that's how much he ticked me off. I love Will Smith. I love him. He probably coming to my show, and I'll be the first one at the door. Go, hey. Yeah. <laughs> but but he did tick me off. I went off on all the Smiths, you know. So did you like? I don't know. I had to have a conversation with Chris after the situation. Yeah, happened? I was with Chris two weeks ago. We were up there. We were watching a show called uh, was with uh, Samuel Jackson on Broadway, The Piano Lesson. Okay. And it was uh, we was just talking about, it, and Chris was he was saying how. Uh, Thank you for standing up for me, because I just I got mad at all the Smith. Uh, you know, Emmett Smith of the Dallas Cowboys, F him. I was just, I was cussing everybody. Uh, what's the name? A.C. Smith over at the ESPN. They had Stephen Smith. They have put him. The Blacksmith, the, law, the, the Locksmith, all of the Smiths. I don't give a damn, all of them. But you said during the interview that you thought that he should have sued Will Smith for that. For $200 million, because mm. he needs to feel the pain. And we're going to talk about this at the, since you brought it up, we're going to be talking about this at the Improv Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Me and Myra J. And you come out too. I got some tickets for you. You want to, these young kids in there, they need to come out and see some we real comedians. Come. We okay, all come. Okay, you be my guest, okay? Look Remember at him. Look at the young man over there. He said, look, he just already have it. Putting, <laughs> his, putting his hoodie on now, right? Now. You get happy when you put your hoodie on? There's something wrong with you, by the way. I just, they have some, <laughs> we have some young people in here, and they are just nice. They've treated me well. But I can't. Believe I'm back in Miami. I haven't been here in how long? Many years. Well, you you are a legendary comedian, and you had. Are you still? Do you still have a residency in Vegas? I'm going back to Las Vegas, and it's going to be really, really big because I'm the only person, black person, that ever went to Las Vegas. Wow. And I didn't work for the hotels, so that's the, that's the history. Of me. This is Black History Month, yes, right? Yes, it is. So Give I'm us the some only African American that has ever gone to Las Vegas and actually owned the show. Mm-hmm. I did not work for the hotels. I went there for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and it wound up being 15 years. So before so, this time, before you go back this time, you were in Vegas for 15 years. 15 years. Okay. And uh, you know it was cost that, cost that much money to see the show, but now I'm free. I said, let me go out to the clubs and get back to the local communities. I should have asked me to come to the hard, to the hard rock. Mm-hmm. Is that hard rock? The hard yeah. rock, yeah. So, but I said, let me get these new jokes out, and then people will appreciate them. And you know, the Improv is a good club that got good food, and you need to come over there for a good price. So, the new Mr. Vegas is in Miami. That's right. And I'm here with you. Yes, right. K Fox. 
Huh? K Fox. K Fox. Yeah. Do you spell your name like, uh, with the two X? I do. Some, you do because you know I wrote from uh, Red Fox. Oh wow. Yeah, the comedian. That's another Black History moment. Mm-hmm. Red Fox. I had an opportunity to work for him, and I, oh, by the way, I just received the Red Fox Award. I'm congratulations. I'm so stupid. I forget all the things I'm doing. I wrote a book. I wrote two books. I wrote <laughs> one book called Laugh It Off. Okay. And that's L A F F Laugh It Off. And this is my latest book since COVID's kind of stopped a little bit. Let me see. And that's I'm big in the Twitter world. Bull twit. Bull twit and whatnot. And whatnot. You almost you always gotta say and whatnot. And whatnot. So not. go online and go to George Wallace at Bull uh, you know, at Bull Twit. Okay? At jo- well, go at get Mr. That. George Wallace. But more importantly, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the improv, you're gonna see the legendary George Wallace. And ugh, I just thank you for coming to hang out with me. It's an honor. K Fox, let me tell you something. You honored. I'm honored to to just be with you and I appreciate you. You don't people don't say I love you anymore. They say I appreciate you, right? You know what happened when I love you? And then people start saying I love you and the girl tell you, I love you more. Mm-hmm. Well, I love you, uh, I love you more. I love you more. And they keep going back and forth. I love you to the moon. I love you more than the yesterday. Go, okay, damn it, you love me more. I'm tired of this stuff. The hell with it. Well, I'm sending you lots of love and energy. All of it. And I love you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. You know why, K Fox? Why? Because my love for you does not require your permission. Oh, thank you. I can bring I'll it. I receive it. And listen, I can't wait to just get loose here. In, in uh, I just flew in, so um, I've been flying all night from Las Vegas, and, and I don't know. No, you all right? You all right? I don't you know, because, you know, when you just fly all night, you get funky in them and no, coming in here. No, you're good. You're going you're gonna to stay fresh at the improv, though, this weekend. So gonna, okay. the people gonna, in South Florida cannot wait to see you. you have to wear clothes at the improv and you wear shorts? What do you do at, 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 at Miami? You get fly. That's what you do. You, you get, get fly, fly just how you are. You got in your Miami colors. You got in your hot pink. You good. Just at the place where they have the nice colors, mm-hmm. right? And they, and they used to be called pastels or something Pastel? Like. I mean, yeah, you, but Miami, you know. The show Miami, what was it called? Miami Vice. Miami Vice started those. Pastel, pastel, and the linen it? suits. And I went to I went to night school, so I can't get these words right sometimes. You know? <laughs> My diction is very bad. Well, that's what I'm here for. I got you. Okay, well, thank you so much. George so much. Wallace is going to be at the Improv this weekend. Make sure you go check him out. It's 99 Jams of People Station. All right, that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Bring your ugly mama. It's lo- it's Valentine's weekend too. People still in uh, still celebrating. celebrating. So bring out your girlfriend, your mama. All the preachers bring your girls out, or girlfriends out, and uh, and, and 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 whoever, whatever your significant other is, <laughs> the bring them out. Okay, we're gonna have some laughs and laughter. <laughs> he was a soul. When you stop laughing, you stop living. That's right. How about that?